said, I'll try you niggas that want to shine. Just know it's going to cost you this bitch. Subscribe to Danny Houston Podcast, man. Danny Houston. Yeah, man, it's going down. It's Danny Houston Podcast. I am Danny Houston. Check it out, man. We got a special guest representing H Town, man. Representing that Southeast, man. Coming from the body O. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? I've been knowing this boy, man, for a minute. You know what I'm saying? It's been real dope to just see him move up and just do his thing, man. I got him here today on the show. Doe, man, what's going what down, up, man? My boy Donnie, man. What's chilling, the deal, chilling, man? Bro. Hustling, bro. Trying to get to it like everybody else. Brown soul dropping. Uh, it should be out probably all the time it comes out, but. Uh, we got high hopes for this one. You know what I mean? Like, it, it got a lot of people behind it, like, in a good way. As far as, I feel like, gatekeepers and been grinding. How you been, fool? I've been chilling, man. You know Getting to it. Shit, I'm booming. Just, yeah, trying to, you know, get it get in like it. everybody else. I you feel know you, bro. I feel what like. A, so, so, what makes Brown so, you saying, like, you think it's going to be the one? Like, what makes that special from anything you've ever done before? I think, um, honestly, it's because, like, we give him more than just music. I feel with Brown Soul, so we kind of feel like we're doing a subgenre of hip hop, and we're gonna we'll put like the lifestyle behind it that we've seen of like our uncles and deals, and so we kind of more so presenting the lifestyle and like it's a full circle moment. You know what I mean? And just being um, kind of making people understand, I guess from the Brown perspective, and I feel like through all the music we done made, shit, this one's definitely like the most spectacular. You know, musically, sonically, yeah. So you say you're doing music, you say you're doing some merch with it and all that? What you Man, merch. We coming out with the merch. We coming out with everything. But just like from our photographers to everybody, we want to kind of label it as Brown Soul. But, yeah, we're going to have, bro, I got a the release with Tipping Point. Uh, David, my boy David, yeah, Tipping yeah, Point. Sure, yeah. I got a collab with him. Coming, it's going to be crazy, you know what I mean? Because he's real, you know, on the very proud, very proud. Uh, yeah, for sure. Guy. I remember when, when I first met him, he, that's the first thing he was telling me. was like, man, he's serious about, like, about the brown folks and about his people, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, people, you know what I'm saying? For he got sure, locked yeah. up by I, he got a crazy story. He got locked up, like yeah. he the immigration and everything. And then mm -hmm. uh, that's how we met. Like I met him. I made a record called UFW, and it stands for uh, United Farm Workers. You know, which um, Cesar Chavez was a part of, and uh, that he heard that record, and that's how we, he wanted to meet me. And we ended up linking. He was like, "Bro, I live that shit." And I was like, "That's wild, bro." But yeah, mm. David, shout out David, it's my yeah. boy. Hell yeah. So, okay. We got that going on. It was something I was gonna ask you about. I seen you doing the other day, man. Um, oh man, I can't even think. What what else been going down, man? Man, we just well, who who you working with on Brown Soul? Like uh, Brown Soul. Oh, okay, Big Tex. Uh, Big Tex Johnny. He's from San Antonio. Uh, I got him. He did. He basically executive produced it. His sound is crazy. I got my boy Southside Hoodlum from San Antonio. He probably the hottest rapper in San Antonio. He killing it. Um, who else I got on there? I work with Baron Studios as far as the recording. Jay Cardenas is on every project. Kind of like the way you was with Pro. That's kind of, you know what I mean, my Donnie Houston. But, uh, yeah, bro, a lot of dope people involved. Yeah, hell yeah. What, um, who you who you been listening to? Musically? Yeah. All I listen to is like Nip, bro, Nip, Pac. Um, I listen to a lot of Odie's music, you know what I mean? Like, all I, that, I got a whole Odie's playlist. It's all I be jamming, but um, I try not to get too much, dig too much in the rap, you know what I mean? Because a lot of shit sound repetitive, you know yeah. what I mean? It yeah. was something I was saying, you were saying, uh, like, with the Nipsey thing, you know what I'm saying? Like, how he got people to buy into him, you know what I'm right, saying? That's something right. that you like, that's important to you, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. Like, talk about just that whole thing of people buying into you and why they were buying a dough man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it's yeah. just like it's more than just the music, you know what I mean? Like right, just right. your whole story and everything. I know it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. I think because it's just the lifestyle, um, as far as like kind of having like the good kid, mad city perspective and uh, coming out of a dark place and shit really being a, like telling the story of a Mexican-American in the United States in hip hop that grew up hip hop. But, um, and it's just real, it's authentic, you know what I mean? It's just shit, it's music that you're gonna feel, you know what I mean? And um, a lot of pain, a lot of purpose, it's part music, you know what I mean? Music with a purpose. But um, yeah, you wanna buy into the brand. You wanna um, you wanna be a fan, you don't just want them, like I seen a Sean Price interview and he was like, fuck fans. Like he was saying, cause you know, he's like one day they love you, next day they don't. He's like, but you get them, them real core fan bases that love you, they gonna stick with you, you know what I mean? And, 
uh, the, even if they grow, you only got, you know what I mean, like the, the thousand true fans that book, you know what I mean? And we're trying to give them, you know what I mean? We're trying to make a family, you know what I mean? People yeah. don't really believe in this shit. Talk about, because um, I, I said the barrio, barrio on the intro, because that's just something I always stick out. I remember when I was first meeting, you'd be talking about that, just in reference to uh, just the part of town where you was coming up from, mm -hmm. man. Like, just talk about that whole southeast and that whole you know what i'm saying that whole section man yeah man southeast is like a you know what i mean it's like a sleeping giant i feel like in the city because you know it is it's a brown you know it got it got we got blacks and mexicans on the and, south. And, and not before you go too far when you say southeast because some people might think you talking about south park you talking about like like nah we were talking about south like southeast yeah. like deep southeast yeah, you know yeah. what i'm saying yeah like southeast from like you got like really it starts like where probably by telephone or something like that yeah and then it goes to me the South, if you go outside the Beltway, like, you're not in the Southeast. But, I mean, but that's here nor there. But to me, it stops before the Beltway. You know what I mean? Uh, what's the last exit? Like, Fuquay? What is it? Like, Edgebrook? Yeah, like, Edgebrook area. But anything outside the Beltway that they be saying Southeast would be. Mm. That ain't the real Southeast. <laughs> you know what I mean? That ain't the real Southeast, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, okay. I mean, just talk about that whole area, though, because you know what I'm saying? Is it, that's, it's mostly brown, though, right? Or is it, is it, is it, is it, it black and brown over there? Yeah. It's black and brown, but it's a lot of, um, like, and you go, like, from, like, Second War Magnolia, like, those are all Mexican. And then you got, like, for me, I'm from Meadowbrook, and we got, like, the freeway. So then, like, right across is, like, Broadway, and then you go down towards, like, you know what I mean? Towards South Park and mm -hmm. Overbrook and all that. But, yeah, because I went to a lot of, you know, you got Hartman right there, um, Ortiz and Stevenson. So shit, like, you know what I mean? But, it's a, I would say like 70, 30. You know what hmm. I mean? Like it's a lot of Latinos though. You know what I mean? They're everywhere. But, um, and even still, I mean, just the culture still, because even with the rap, like just talk about how you even got into the rap thing and how they, yeah. you know, I'm sure you, you get into this growing up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's from the area. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, so. you grow up. That's And that's what I was talking I talk about this shit all the time in LA because it's like, we're from Houston, so we way different. Our mindset is different. Out there, it's like, to me, it's still segregated. Like it's real. So, and they, like, they're like, oh, the way you talk or the way this. And, they don't like hate on it. They just be like, bro, like they don't get it. You know what I mean? The way we move. And it's just because you don't really, I never really cared for like color was just, I mean, black and Mexican is all I ever seen. It was like weird for me to see a white person. For the like, most honestly. part, if you're from the H and you're from a hood, like, yeah, it's black. We all in there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's bro. Like, so that's why, like, for me. Your neighbor gonna be black or Mexican, man. Like, it yeah, is, bro. Is, like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, the best homies, like, out there, it's like, nah, you can't even walk on a block. You know what I mean? Like, it's, uh, like, don't go there type shit. But, um, uh, Nah, so it's like I have a like I explain it all the time. I'm like, bro, you know, I this hip hop is I grew up hip hop. My pop was jamming NWA. You know what I mean? My it, when hip hop started, you know what I mean? It, my family was in it because you know we Mexican American. I'm not just Mexican. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, bro, fucking uh, forgot the goddamn question. Nah, we just talking about just getting into the music and shit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, bro, but oh no. And then shit, but it's everywhere. I remember the first time I recorded was, I think it was in South Park with my boy uh, Jeremy. I don't know if it was South Park or, but yeah, bro, I was like And this, this is like ninth grade, you said? Ninth grade, yeah. No ninth shit. Ninth grade was the first time. No, no. Going to the studio. Huh? You going to the studio. Yeah, we was in the studio. No I was shit. dropping mixtapes in ninth grade. I was dropping, I was selling mixtapes for $5 a pop, battle rap and all that shit. You know what I mean? Like, just grew up loving music, loving, you know, especially loving hip hop and shit. It just... I was writing raps in elementary school. And I think everybody from the hood who kind of saw a way out through it was, but um, yeah, I've been love music, you know what I mean, all my life, all my life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who would you say uh, is probably the most influential for you as an artist, like, in like your development? Anywhere or Houston? Just period. Like, in, in your development, like, this is who kind of made me, like, this is what you get from dope, man. It's this, it's this, it's this. Oh, I like, pull from here, 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 oh, you know what nah, I'm saying? Oh, like, bro, my influence is like, bro, I just love my family looking at, you know what I mean? For real, my family, that's like my main, you know what I mean, influence. But just kind of seeing the world from a different place, not seeing the world from just a typical, like, I'm going to go to work, I'm going to go do this, like, now, nah, bro, like, good to see. And um, my influence is just life. I get to wake up, you know what I mean? A lot of the homies that, you know what I mean, been the rest, uh, my boy Thomas' birthday yesterday, uh, like homies like that. It's just if I give up, then they name dies, and you know what I mean. Just a lot of shit trying to get out the fucking, trying to buy my mama crib like everybody, you know. Uh, that's my main influence, though, for sure. Mm. Yeah, yeah. What would you say is like? What does success look like for you? Shit, I feel like success is doing what you love, and to me, I want to, I mean, I feel successful already. I feel, you know what I mean, hmm. we, make, we make a living out of doing what we love, so I don't really kind of compare it to, like, another man's success or, like, 
this artist might be this pop and I ain't got nothing to do with me. I got to wake up and pay my own bills tomorrow, you know? So being able to take care of yourself off what you love, to me, that's success. You know what I mean? Like, hmm. you ain't working for nobody. You're doing your thing. You know what I mean? And it's hard. You know I mean? I don't know. You know any artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's shit, ups and downs in this shit. But you know what I mean? The ups is super high, for sure. Yeah. You know? How many times have you thought about saying, man, fuck this rap shit, man? <sighs> Boy, what every other nah, not no more. <laughs> I remember the worst time was like 2018. I was like, "All right, bro, what's still going down?" You know, what I mean? you had that combo with yourself, and then, then boom, blessings happened, and I was like, "Shit!" You know, what I mean, I talked to my pops about it. We we talked for like two hours. He was like, "Nah, you just gotta keep. You already in this shit. Like, you might as well keep going." And then that's when I think the best my career started picking up. You know what I mean, but. So was it just timing or like was something like what was the thing that kind of made it the trajectory change? You know what I'm saying? Honestly, bro, I remember 2018. I remember uh, going to South by Southwest and you know Beehive. My, my, he was my manager at the time, so I can remember telling Mike C and everybody, I'm like, bro, this South by like ain't man, this one ain't. If we ain't killing, like, bro, this might be it type shit. I remember when Beehive was like somehow he putting me on all these fire shows like. Only New York shows, only LA shows, just, and he's not my manager. He's just showing love, looking out. And I'm like, damn, that was a good ass South by. You know what I mean, we gained fans, got love, all that shit. And then after that, that's when I told B, I was like, bro, do you manage anybody? Like, you know what I mean? And then from there, that shit started starts picking up. You yeah. know what I mean? But uh, that shit kind of like saved me at that point, saved me in my music career. So you so you get with Beehive and, and what's some of the things y'all try to be hives too, man. He's been doing his thing yeah, South by Southwest and you know what I'm saying? Like Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Um My brother. You get with Beehives and like what's some of the some of the things you start doing? I remember I saw seeing you uh start linking up with Rob Markman and you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, things like that, like Yeah, nah, bro. Like yeah, Rob Markman, we did the genius, uh like mulatto version and Rob Markman's like like genuinely like a homie. Like that dude, like he cool as a motherfucker, call me on my like he, he good people. Uh, Letty from LA, I feel super honored that she know who I am. She, you know what I mean? She's a real, and she really believes in it. Like it's not like on some, oh like, nah, like she believes in it. Like ain't no, you know what I mean? Ain't no industry favors or none of that shit. Uh, my boy Cypress Moreno, just a lot of shit. When I start moving and getting out of Houston, I started feeling so much more of a higher pace, a faster pace. I mean, growing rapidly versus when I'm in Houston, it's like. You beating a dead horse sometimes. Same song, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's just, you got gatekeepers, you got the, but it's like, bro, you don't even want, you ain't got to be friends with no producers. You ain't got to be friends with nobody. You got to be friends with them fans. That's who buy your music, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> go tap in with the normal people, politic with them. But um, that's all I've been on, bro, trying to expand, like, not sitting in the same spot, running on a treadmill, you know? Yeah. Do you, um? are you influenced by any other like Hispanic rappers like a Fat Joe or SPM or a Big Pun or, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Big Pun for sure. That's my number yeah. one. He's my, that's my favorite. That's your number one MC all time? All time. All time. My list is off. I, bro, I just went through this in LA. My boy Khan, shout out my boy Khan, killing shit. He's like, make your list. My list is, what's your, what's your, what's your five? My five? Yeah. I, I don't give my five. You, you ain't got <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I put everybody else on the spot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Pun, 50, Pump 50, Method Man. Pump 50, Method Man. Tupac, I'm tripping. And uh, probably Ho. That's my top five for sure. Oh, Nip. Chill. I'll take I and I love all oh, respect to Ho, but Nip for sure. You'll take Ho out your five for Nip. I would, bro. That's crazy, huh? And you'll leave 50 and Method Man? Bro, Method Man is a spitter, bro. I'm not, not I'm not, not, you know what I mean? They, 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 they all, they're both legends, bro. I'm I not. know, yeah, because I think, no, because I'm more familiar with their music. I never, I've dug, you know what I mean, listen to Jay-Z, but I never, I can't just sit here and be like, I know Jay-Z music, like I know Nip music or 50's first album. Like, I don't know his music mm. like that, so mm. I guess I just never took the time to dive into him, but yeah, for sure. Hmm. You the first person to come on here with this five, man. <laughs> No, but 50 was just the imp. It was like, bro, everybody wanted to be 50 Cent, bro. Like, you know what I mean? The impact, bro, nobody. I don't know. I don't know. No, 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 I get it. I'm, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just. I think I fuck with 50's persona because he just be on some, like, he came in the game. Like, I'm, I'm not knocking it. No, no, no. 50 came out hot, bro. Nobody was hotter than 50. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he went, Jay. He said, you going to take Jay Z Hmm. Nah, bro. Yeah. Met what? What about? Okay. Go ahead. No. Nah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Met no, what you about, about Method Man? Nah, I ain't got to go. Nah, Method Man is a spitter, bro. Method Man is like. 
Like, bro, I be diving his shit. You watch the Wu Tang series? Huh? I haven't watched it yet, uh, but that's on Netflix. But I'm not a TV yeah. person, bro. I barely watch TV. Like you really. See, I ain't either. But I'm a series dude, though. Mm-hmm. You just give me a good series, man. I might be on. You yeah, know what yeah. Saying? Nah, I mean, nah. Uh, I seen like I, I seen like that one thing they had. I think it was a, but it was not. I don't know if it was one on Netflix though. It's new. Nah, this this comes on uh, Hulu. Matter of fact. Oh um, yeah, nah, I don't know, but um. Uh, shit fire. Yeah, nah, bro. Method was a star. Method was the one, bro. You know what I mean? I get that. Okay, give me a uh, give me H Town five, top five all time. Damn, I ain't never been that H Town top five. Uh, God damn, I feel like I'm gonna leave people out. Um, H Town top five uh, of all time type shit. Damn, who am I gonna put on there, bro? That's a good ass question, bro. Uh, Maxo. The show. Hmm. So who's fit pro for show? Put my boy pro top five for show. To me, you mean? And like I said, it's kind of like the Nip and Jay thing. There might be people who did it, but I know. You know what I mean? I grew up on pro shit too. Shit, dog. Is Maxo pro? Uh, God damn, I'm stuck, fool. Myself, you know what I mean? Can you do that? You put yourself on there? Karino said you never put your post put yourself on there. All right, the then, then, then let's not do that. <laughs> Damn, dog. Y'all got me stuck like Chuck. I think Maxo Pro uh, Top 5. Huh? Chameleon Air for show. Sure. Yeah, yeah. I forgot about Chameleon Air. Chameleon Air for Maxo Pro. Chameleon Air. God damn. Got to put like a old. Paul Wall, low key. Paul Wall, my top five in H for sure, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I thought Paul, I thought Paul Wall was Mexican when I first seen the. <laughs> I swear, I was like, damn, he, I thought he was. Mexican. We got us one. Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that fool right there. I was like, you got us one. That's what I thought. <laughs> but straight up though, um, shit, huh? Who? I think. Oh, nah, I would say probably Fat Pat. Fat Pat for sure. You saying all time, right? It ain't yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's all time for you. Okay. Okay. Sure. All right. That's interesting, Fire. Yeah. I mean, because there's a lot of new, but yeah, like. Pro- no, I mean, your 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 both of your fives are like reflections of like your age demographic. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so, yeah. That's why when you were saying that, I was just sitting back thinking, and I'm like, yeah. Now, the Method Man pick, that was a wild card. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> but. Nah, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I tell people that all the time. Like, Method, bro. Like, he was just, you know what I mean? Same shit. But, yeah, nah. H-Town, bro. Like, grew up on the shit, bro. Like, I mean, I was a kid whenever H-Town was going crazy with the slamming. I was, like, third grade, bro. Like, you know what I mean? You was in third grade when that shit was going on? Third grade, probably. 05? 05? Nah, fourth grade, probably. Something. I was little, bro. I was a kid. Yeah, yeah. I was a little dog. Uh, still damn. Well, how you was already in high school? Hey, I was in college. Oh, God damn, okay. For real? Hell yeah. When that shit was going on, nigga, I was playing that shit at college parties, nigga. Bro, still tipping. Crazy. I got that shit on vinyl. So okay. you was in school for a good little, like, you had a good time, then you was lit. What you mean? You from the H. Like when you was in college, that was a good time to be young. Uh, oh, for, for that little period. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But you know what though? The, I ain't. It's like looking back on that. I ain't realized how just how live it was. Like I knew it was live, mm-hmm. but I didn't realize like how live. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like this, this shit was really fucking lit up, bro. It like, changed hip hop, man. Yeah, the city was like, it was just some different shit. Yeah, it's like how you feel about it now, like the city versus like then. Okay, how does it feel for you, like then? Because you've seen that. How does it feel now, like? Well, it's different now because for one, it's like outside looking in versus inside looking out, right? Mm-hmm. So like when Slim and them is on and shit, I'm in college, and I'm also like only 19 years old. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 19, yeah, yeah, 20. Yeah. Everything new. Everything new, like mm-hmm. you know, Super Bowl All Star going on. Like I'm just barely getting in clubs and shit. Mm-hmm. All that shit, it just looks different from that perspective versus being, I done actually been in the game, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I know yeah. what the game is for real, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 you've seen, so you seen behind the, uh, the closed door. Yeah, so when certain shit go on, it's like it don't necessarily look the same to me. Not necessarily always in a bad way, but it's just a different mm-hmm. view. Like, mm-hmm. it's a different view. So I can't say that, I'm not saying it ain't lit, it's just... It ain't. It don't. It ain't. It ain't gonna never feel like nineteen year old me seeing this shit for yeah, the first yeah, time yeah, 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 with yeah. no idea of any of this shit for real. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
you ain't know shit about it type shit like but, but being a fan that's like the most one of the most beautiful feelings in the world bro that like we really be sleeping on you know what I mean? and that's the thing it's like finding that balance of like not getting caught up in the industry shit and still mm-hmm. being able to be a fan you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. and that's just, that's the thing that this, this this doing the podcast allows me to do like I get here and, and talk to people like, man, I, I know this nigga Dope Man can rap. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Like, sure. I go yeah, tell, yeah. I can tell somebody like, yeah, Dope Man, yeah, nah, he can rap for real. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, yeah, you already know it. You feel yeah. me? Like, so it's 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 a, it's a different thing, but you got to just find that balance. Like, yeah, bro, nah, like, I just try to be a fan as much as possible, though, because like, that's the shit that got us in this in the beginning. You know what I mean? You seeing rap stars, we want to be like that. You know what I mean? See, uh, just. You know what I mean? Just being a fan of this shit, being inspired by fucking uh, everything about it, and then you kind of see the ugly side of it, and you just like, yeah, this shit kind of, kind of fugazi. You know what I mean? Yeah, a lot of, a lot of this shit, but mm-hmm. I think uh, being a fan is important. You know what I mean? Tell your inspiration. You know what I mean? But uh, that shit, wild, wow, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, I mean, shit. I still love it. Still love the game. You know what I'm saying? I'm like you Mitch, know. man. I love the game. I love the yeah, hustle. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Up. Like, yeah, you got to. You gotta. I mean, that's what keep us in this shit. Cause anybody who really don't love it like you that, you don't love you, it. Nah, you'll be out of here a long oh, time ago. Bro, this should have ran. This should have ran your ass out of here, boy. Oh, this <laughs> this a testing thing. Like, what did uh? Yeah, I think I don't know who said that. Rap stress, but it pays great. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think anything musically, it's shit stress, bro. But it's it's a beautiful thing after you see it. Like, you know, beautiful things happen. Oh man, bro, you hit them ultimate highs, and it's like, yo, all that shit was worth it. Yeah, it don't even matter no more. Like all that bullshit, it don't even matter. Like straight up, this is what I did it for. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, bro. Like you asking for that stress, you know what I mean? You fucking, and that's what I think anybody chasing a dream or chasing some kind of goal, like you gonna go through some stressful shit. It's gonna test you. You gonna see what you know what I mean? You gonna see what your real essence is. But uh, yeah, bro, I love like watching big moments, like. Going to the J. Cole Dollar and a Dream Tour, like, you know what I mean? Like, that shit, I remember. I ain't never met J. Cole either. Like, I want to meet, bro. Bro, I know a lot of people who know him now. Like, it's wild, but I really want to meet him just to have a convo with him, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, like a fan. That shit, you know what I mean? Just being a fan. Yeah, being a fan, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what it is, man. You got anything before we get about here? Huh? Shit, Brown Soul, September 22nd. Shout out my boy Donnie Houston at H Town. We in the motherfucking building. Uh, Oh, social media and all that. Oh, too. yeah, yeah. D O E M A N X D Y N A. Follow us at Dino Records. Brown Soul. You know what I mean? Yep. All right, that's what it is, man. It's Dino Houston Podcast. Dope Man. Hey, man, we out of here. My dog. Dino Houston. I know y'all watching and ain't subscribing. Subscribe.